Hi guys, today I wanted to do something a little different, so I recorded myself making scallion pancakes to show you how I did it. First off, I made this dough by combining two cups of flour with one cup of boiling water and letting it rest in the fridge overnight. So you're going to form your dough into a little ball and then press it out with a rolling pin, which I do not have, until it's about eight inches long. After that, you're going to coat it in toasted sesame oil or regular sesame oil and spread it out until it covers the entire pancake. After that, you're going to roll your pancake up and you're going to fold it like it's a little snail or until it kind of looks like a seashell in Animal Crossing. Then once you have that seashell, you're going to press it flat with your hand. Once you've done that, you're going to roll it out again. Um, you're going to want it to be about eight inches in diameter. And then once again, you're going to add the sesame oil. And once you've done that, add your scallions. Then you're just going to repeat the process. Roll it up like a little slug, except maybe now it's sort of like a, <laughs> like a fat slug. Um, and then turn it around in that little seashell form and press it down. Then you're going to roll it flat one last time. This time it's going to be about seven inches in diameter. You should have enough dough to make about four of those. Now really quickly we're going to make the dipping sauce. It's two tablespoons soy sauce, two tablespoons rice wine vinegar, your leftover scallions, one teaspoon ginger, and two teaspoons sugar. Now, set that aside. You're going to put one fourth cup of vegetable oil in a pan, throw that pancake in there, and lightly agitate it until you can see that it's golden brown on the bottom. At that point, you can flip it over. Once it's golden brown on both sides, you're done. Do that four more times. And then you're basically finished. You can cut those up into six slices each, arrange them all pretty on a plate, and then force your girlfriend to eat them and compliment your food.